new at 5.30 tonight. This is awesome now. We are under a geomagnetic storm warning. The warning doesn't sound awesome. Right. Extreme conditions are coming. But the last time that we saw these conditions were over 20 years ago. That's right. Meteorologist Patrick Wright joins us uh, live here in our studio. So, Patrick, I've got to tell you, that sounds really scary. What does this actually mean for us? Well, at least for Northern California, it means we'll have the opportunity to see the northern lights. So it all began with what's called a coronal mass ejection from our sun. It's an explosion filled with electrically charged particles. Now, the explosion originated from a series of sunspots 17 times larger than the Earth, and the explosion happened to be pointed in our direction, sending the charged material towards our planet. Now, it's stress for, for some, but an inspiring sight for others. Now, here's how it could affect you. Well, it will cause a number of things to happen. It'll change the way uh, radio signals work. It'll change, um, it can have some impacts on power grids although they're pretty good at anticipating those and preparing for them. The really obvious visual one is it'll be making some really spectacular aurora. Now the aurora themselves are a finicky thing. Scientists are still working on how to forecast the aurora when these types of events happen, but scientists tell me as long as the magnetic field is oriented properly, the aurora should be easily seen with reports already coming in from Europe showing a stunning display. Now Alan and Haley, if you want to see the northern lights, I do. Tonight yeah. you can look directly up or to the north. And tomorrow night, you could also do the same thing. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you what scientists are looking for in an event like this. So just as soon as the sun goes down, we can try to see it. We don't have to stay up super late, just as yes, soon as it's dark outside. Yes, once the sun goes down, and as long as you're away from city lights, that's going to be one of the critical things. Oh, fingers crossed, yeah. right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. Yeah.